Between the years of 1997 and 2007, William Toppin served as the headmaster of Hutchins, the exclusive boys' school at the centre of sexual abuse allegations against former headmaster David Lawrence in the 60s. Lawyers had drafted an apology to one of the victims the year before he started, but Mr Toppin couldn't explain why the board didn't follow through with the letter, instead detailing how he was quarantined from the issue so I could do the job they wanted me to do, which was was running the school. The commission heard the victim, known only as AOA, again asked for an apology in 1999. But the board was instructed by its solicitors not to take any further action, as correspondents will continue to grind AOA's acts and exacerbate the situation. He agreed with the council's suggestion that it was disrespectful, discourteous and hurtful to not reply to Mr AOA's appeal, and admitted he should have instructed the board to respond. Mr AOA once again appealed to the school for an apology in 2002. A draft response from Mr Toppin on behalf of the board revealed that it did regret the sexual misconduct but maintains it shouldn't be held responsible for events that occurred a generation ago. It's a claim the current bishop of the Tasmanian diocese later told the commission he questioned when he was corresponding with the headmaster about AOA's latest appeal. He asked whether it's correct that the board can't be held accountable and believed the letter was lacking in compassion. It prompted the bishop to send his own letter of apology to AOA in the hope of writing the letter. They might have seen that and they might have done likewise. But it didn't, to which the bishop revealed he wished the school had given an apology, a fulsome apology. The hearing continues. Elizabeth O'Neill, Win News.